Guys, I literally just drove off and look. Oh, he's scared. <laughs> Lily with rats. And, and we're, we're about, about to close in on him right, right now. now. So you guys were sitting here. Sitting here, heard him behind us, kind of up there. And what type of hours of the day? At night. At night, okay. Yep. The main area that we hear them is all just right in, in this, this area. area. Okay. So like right here. And this is definitely the main area of activity. How many rats have they caught in the last year? I think like four to five. Four to five, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, Rosie. Who are you people? There's a lot of stuff, especially with the plumbing, that's just like questionable. Sketchy. Yeah. A little sketchy. They kind of did like a total facelift, yeah. as we understand it. We're gonna go ahead and get started with smoke yeah. test, and yeah. then hopefully yeah. we can reveal yeah. where the breaches where are at. Okay, yeah. awesome. And we'll, we'll keep you posted. So you heard Lily. They hired some shoddy plumbers or contractors, and when we hear that, more than likely it's gonna be sewer rats. So time to start our investigation. Okay, right off the bat, I could smell the stench from urine odor and just that rat environment. It smells awful. There's literally no space to, no way to crawl around, bro. I mean, I think the best thing to do, Jimmy, is get our smoke test. I may have to squeeze on top of this duct system here. Or at least we have access to this area here. Yeah, this area right here is where that bedroom where Lily was describing all of the activity. Let's put the smoke in here, Dave. I love my crew, man. I miss my crew. I like the hat, man. Doesn't yeah. fit your head though, huh? used to have hair like that when I was in my 20s. Hey, just wanted to offer a big shout out to Dagier, a local pest control company that refers us to a lot of these jobs. We're here because of you, buddy, and we want to thank you for this referral. Stay tuned to figure out how the rats were getting in. Oop, pull up, pull up. Ooh, right there. There's an opening right there. Right here. Yeah. See that big old gap? That was fast. Going under, boys. So we're gonna go ahead and go under and see if we can identify that broken pipe that we found in the camera. So here's the crawl space. It's a tight one. Oh, I can use this for the rats. Here it is right here, guys. There's that crack. So the question is, if they're coming through there, how are they getting up into the ceiling? Another mystery. We're gonna go ahead and introduce the smoke. We know we're gonna get smoke out of that brinks there. Just wanna make sure if there's anything else. The main line goes to the side of the house. You want me to go on the side of the house? Yes. Yes, yeah, see if there's a clean out. A lot of you guys are commenting of why we don't have radios. By the time we have our flashlights and our camera, it's hard to carry. But yeah, you're right, we, sh we should have one in. The batteries were out, so we just haven't replenished the, the batteries yet. But I think you're right, we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need to invest in some good, good radios. A few moments later. All right, we're starting to see a little bit of smoke there. If you could see that haze, they're moving. Here's the other side of that closet bend here, and look at this. This is a bigger crack on this side. Yeah, that's pouring out now. Okay, shut the smoke off. They're coming out of here and then walking up that pipe. Yeah, look at that big gap right there, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some foam inside there just temporarily. That'll slow things down until we, till she decides on who's gonna do the repair. So since I'm already here, I'm gonna inject some foam in that crack here. Looks a little ugly, but it'll kind of manage it for right now. Yeah, they were traveling underneath here. Look at the grease marks here, all over these pipes here. The water? Yeah. That's so gross, man. Massive leak over here, guys. Can't get all the way over there, but... Can you turn on the water again? You can't run the sink because it's clogged up. Oh, okay, well that's different, Dave. Bunch of peanuts down here that they were pulling in. Wow, look at that. Plenty of food source. That's why this trap was never effective. See the rat droppings too. Grease marks, heavy grease marks here. Very, very good find right there. That was a tight crawl space. Tight. Definitely has some plumbing issues, guys. Do you know where peanuts might come from? Do you have a bird? Do you have... No. Tons of peanuts where the rats were eating. Peanuts. Literally, they were just a bunch of like peanuts. Like in the shells? Like or? when you go to... The Dodger game and you like have peanuts? Yeah. So they're probably bringing them from a neighbor's house and then storing their food underneath the crawl space. Oh my God. Yeah. So you have a couple issues. We found the breach where they were coming in and out. Oh good. See the hole? Yeah. So they were coming through here 
climbing up, and that goes right up into your closet. There you go. And then up in there. Okay. There he is. So that whole section of your waste pipe, for whatever reason, they didn't upgrade that to an ABS. They okay. left that original. Mm -hmm. The rats are taking advantage of that. One thing we don't know is if there's other breaches because yeah. we're losing all our smoke in that area. To that area. That needs to get all fixed and sealed, and then we reintroduce the smoke again to confirm that there's not another another issue. Especially if you said you've had previous issues with the contractor doing yeah. sort of Mickey Mouse work. We have no idea oh, if there's another spot. I want to hurry up and seal off that opening where the pipe is so they don't uh, get underneath the crawl space or stay in the walls. We're going to isolate them up here. If there is anything left up here, any rats left up here, we're going to catch them. Just a quick claim here. This is not great stuff for rodents, but for this application, it works perfect. Because all we're doing is isolating the rats up here in the attic. We don't want them running around. We want to keep them up here. There's no place for them to get out. So this is where trapping works amazing. Multiple breaches, found some leaks. We've got to get all that plumbing taken care of. Once that is completely sealed up and solved, we're then going to introduce another round of smoke to determine and verify if there's any other openings. What I'm more excited about about is how many rats are we gonna catch out of that attic? That was a tight, tight crawl. Dirty as well. As I was cutting on my back, you guys, you could see all that stuff was coming down and it was just, ugh, I'm gonna go wash my face. I made that cut. Now it's ready for the install crew to install all the plumbing. Once the pipes are installed, they're waiting for a few more items for material. Then they're gonna go in the house and make sure that we are leak free and we should be good to go. All right, we're pulling back up to Lily's. We've got our crew ready to shoot that liner on the roof all the way down into that attic area. Let's go see this amazing technology. We're gonna start mixing the resin already. Okay. So this is the liner, this is the link, this is my marker here. Okay. And, um, and we're gonna all right. give it a shot. Hook it. So what we're gonna do is run the camera down the brand new pipe and just confirm that we inserted it down far enough to cover those breaks. We first blew in the, the bag and then we blow in a balloon, which is this green part right here. That goes all the way down and then we air it up. These are the air hose and that's what expands the epoxy to the inner walls of the pipe here. So this needs to cure for about 35 minutes to an hour. Once we do that, we can pull the balloon out, cut this, and we'll have a brand new pipe within the old pipe. This literally is a game changer, especially for those of you that have an old cast iron pipe. This is a great option. It's non-invasive, should be major cost effective as well, because imagine if we have to go in there and tear out all those walls, and then have to come back, put those walls back, do all the painting. It's really an amazing way, especially for those underground sewer pipes as well. If you have root intrusion, this is the ultimate. I've never, I've been doing this for about 18 years. I've never had a call back with a customer saying, hey, I've got roots growing right back into my line again. So this is one seamless pipe, just a great option to consider to rehabilitate those old pipes. This is a great time to take lunch here. Okay, I just wanted to show you the finished product of this cast iron pipe, how smooth it is. And let's see, really good. nice. Look at how, how nice that is. Pretty cool. All right, as you can see, this job is a wrap. We just got to set up our rat trap up in the attic. See how many rats are up there. Leave in your comments if you think there's one, two, three, four, five. Love to hear them. My attic rat trap uh, notified me that 
we caught one. This is about the cutest little rat I've ever caught. I typically don't have a heart for rats, but this one here is so cute. And he got a little twin brother because he came up behind him and sniffed his little brother around and he was hungry. For some reason, this little guy just touched my heart. Let's go in the attic and take a look. This is what I love about my attic rat trap. Because you can just simply grab it. Mm. He's a cute little bugger. Look at that. He's just a cutie. And he's got a little twin brother running around. That's disgusting! You see, I took some wire there to secure the bait even more. This will keep him in the kill zone a lot longer. The Attic Rat Trap, round two. So it looks like we're only dealing with one more, which is his little twin brother. Gotta get him out of there, and I think we're good. You're wrong, man. Guys, I literally just drove off, and look, his little twin brother's right by my rat trap. There he is, there he is. I just set it there like 10 minutes ago and he comes out. That's the advantage of my attic rat trap, guys, is no mess, notifies you in real time. And did we catch one? He's nibbling on one of my little pumpkin seeds, that little booger. 12 seconds later. And we got him. Well, we gotta go back. Literally just left 10 minutes ago. That's what's great about the attic rat trap. Efficiency, baby. Little brother still there. Oh my god. Oh, he's scared. What's up, little boy? Oh. You're okay. You're okay. I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? Alright. I'm sorry. I know. Let's let you go, buddy. We'll let you go. And go. Go, go, go. Good boy. Good boy. Anyhow, I just felt bad. <laughs> I didn't want to I didn't want to smash him out. So a lot of you guys ask, what do you guys do with those little babies? And we just let them go. The predators will definitely get that. We'll put it in the food supply out here in Mother Nature. That feels good. Anyways, we're going to set that rat trap back up and see if there's any more. I think that's enough. We're not done yet. Okay, so about 45 minutes later, you could see we caught two of them. So there must have been a nest, uh, you know, several feet away from this spot here. So we'll be going back and pulling these two out. The challenge here is that we don't have a bag. So we're gonna have to use a little something different to pull these rats out. Oh, there you are. What are you doing, buddy? One is dead and the other one's alive. <laughs> My stars. Oh, oh, little boy. A cute little boy. Oh, it looks like we his back yeah, foot got his, broke. Got his hind. Oh. Yeah, that trap really got him. Yeah, look at that leg right there. Yeah, broken. Let's take him to the vet. This deserves the rat dance. <laughs> 